All right, are we ready to add some animations? Let's do this and we're gonna set a goal of getting 100% the first time through. Here we go. Jasper Active, you gotta make me look like a good teacher. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna apply animation. Start on slide two. On slide two, select the title placeholder, go to the animations tab, and you are going to select more. Look for the one called Zoom. It's right here. Okay. Then you're going to click the content placeholder. And notice I have a cursor there, so I'm going to click the edge of it. And for this one, I'm going to say fade. Then in the timing group, I'm going to Make the duration two seconds. Oh, that's uncomfortably long. But we do what we're told. Then select slide three. On slide three, we're going to click the title placeholder. And for this one, we're going to select split. Notice if we do the more button, we see entrance, emphasis, and exit. So. What we're going to do is say uh, split, which is right here. And then we're going to click the spotlight tours. And in the more, we are going to select teeter. So it's an emphasis effect. So we're going to look in yellow until we find teeter. Then go back to slide two. To keep track of all our animations, we're going to turn on the animation pane. The animation pane selected, we can see that we have two and possibly more. If you hover over each of the animations, it tells you what it is in the animation pane. On click, entrance effect, zoom, and it's on the title. So now, point to one of the green boxes. Notice it gives us a little move arrow that tells us the start and stop times. So here we go. We're going to click the double arrows in the gray and notice that that animation is actually on every one of those lines, every one of those bullets. So what we're going to do is click play all. So click off of it in the gray area then click play all up here and it went super fast it actually played them but it went super fast so uh click the double arrows at the bottom to collapse that list and let's go to step two now it says click on slide three go back to slide three on slide three uh select the eagle where it says animations you are going to select the more and you're going to go down to more motion paths oh, no nope. i need to scroll let's try that again hmm, there it is motion paths custom path that's the one i want so Click where you want it to start. I'm going to come off the slide up here, and then I'm going to drag, holding the left mouse button, a path for this eagle to follow, and I'm going to double click when I'm done. So if I preview it, I don't know why it goes so fast, but it's there. Notice I can shrink it off. My eagle starts by flying in on the screen, follows the path, and then lands. Hopefully when we're all done, this will work right. Step number three, go back to slide two. On slide two, uh, in the animation pane, select the animation for the title placeholder right up here. Then you're going to say uh, start after previous and change the duration to two. The animation pane double click the second animation and 
say start after previous. Then go to slide three. We're on slide three. Oh, on slide three, it says select the wildlife content placeholder. So now with the content placeholder selected, it says choose fly in. Then effect options from the top. The animation pane, double click content placeholder, animation. And it brings up the animation dialog box. From here, we're going to change to a smooth start to five hundredths of a second. Oh, five hundredths of a second. And smooth end one tenth of a second. Then click OK. Okay, click off of there and then in this gray area, then click play all and it runs through them at warp speed. Four, apply animations to text. So on slide three, you're going to select the content placeholder. There we go. And for this one, you are going to say start after previous. And then in the effect options, you're going to say by second level paragraph. Oh, I think I need to go over this way. Um, double click it. There we go. And it says on the text animation tab, so that by first level, you'll be by second level paragraphs and say, OK. And notice that has split every one of them, so they all come in on their own. And we're going to do the time. Oh, I need to get back there and do the timing tab. So I double clicked it, in the timing tab. Instead of very fast, we're going to change it to fast. Now select slide five, ready to go. Oh, this one drives me crazy, you guys. Bear with me, we're gonna do it. It says on slide five, you're going to tell it to appear. Now, that's bad, but it's not nearly as bad as we're gonna make it. We're going to uh, animation, click the arrow to the right of the animation. So this one here, and it says effect options should bring up that same thing. And we are going to animate text. This is terrible. Don't ever do it, but we're going to do it. And we're going to say, oh, get back there. Animate text right here, not text animation. We're going to say by word. So in the effect tab, animate text by word and change it to one whole second. Ugh, it's terrible. All right. Now, I'm not even going to wait for that to finish playing. They also want us to tell it, instead of on click, change it to after previous. All right. And just making sure I didn't skip anything. Okay, 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 I think we got it. Okay, now we're going to use Animation Painter. So select slide three again. On slide three, you're going to select the image of the eagle. And in the animation, advanced animation group, there is an Animation Painter. Click it. Then go to slide five and click ready to go. Now it follows the same path. Notice it finished off of the slide. So if I want to, I can click on that animation. Oops, click on that animation. 
and change the location so it finishes someplace different. Is that a good idea? No. All right, that'll work. Uh, let's see, now it says preview. There we go, it finishes in the right spot now. Close the animation pane. Next, reorder animations on a slide. So on slide five, uh, select the image on top of the animations tab. You're going to select more and float in. Then for effect options, you're going to say float down. Two uncomfortably long seconds. And now we want to add animation. So click on the picture again. Instead of grabbing our animation from here, we're going to grab it from add animation. And for this one, we're going to say grow and shrink. And we'll do this after previous for two silly seconds. Now click ready to go. You're going to add animation to get it to appear after previous. So add animation, appear, and then after previous. Now we need to open up the animation pane. So click on that. It says text box five. Click to change te text box five to start with previous. And then click preview. And it goes blazingly fast. Next, removing animations. Go to slide three. On slide three, uh, in the animation pane, click the first animation in the title placeholder. And you are going to select remove animation. Remove. On slide two, go to the title placeholder. Now, um, okay, on slide two, remove the title placeholder animation. And there you go. Now select slide three again. The content placeholder. Uh, click the content placeholder animation, click the arrow beside it, and then remove. Nice. Preview the animations on that slide. So click in the gray area and then say play all, or you can click the preview button up here. That actually played it all right. So by the end, it's doing it right. Let's get our 100%. Come on, Jasper Active. Yes. All right, where to go, guys?